Wind turbines of all sizes have become a familiar sight around the world. Our showcase business of the week is Knight and Carver Wind Group. This fast-growing wind group owns and operates a full-scale blade manufacturing facility in Howard, South Dakota. In recent years, the wind group has become well-known in the wind energy industry and has become a worldwide industry leader in servicing, rebuilding, and fabricating thousands of blades. Next, we visit with our feature business of the week, Sue Printing, and tour their state-of-the-art facility. For three generations, Sue Printing has produced millions of unique print projects seen all over the world since its doors opened in 1959 in downtown Sioux Falls. We're a manufacturing plant in Howard, South Dakota. We uh, produce rotor blades for wind turbines. Right now we're producing a, uh, a replacement blade for these, for these turbines. They're about a 24 meter long blade, which is about 75, 80 feet, right around in there. They are made out of fiberglass, about 6,000 pounds a piece. Uh, we produce about two a day. The fiberglass will come in on two 300 pound rolls of glass, just raw material on a pallet. You have a clamshell mold, and so you have two halves, and you have a team of people that goes through and puts in multiple layers of fiberglass. Fiberglass goes through an impregnator. It's a roll style impregnator that has a, a resin bath. You have a foam core that goes in for a structural membrane. And then you put in a whole bunch more layers of fiberglass over on top of that. So when you're all done with each half, you have over 100 layers of fiberglass at the, at the root end, which is the round end that hooks into the hub of the turbine. And you need that much glass because at that connection, that's what's holding it on. And the only thing that holds on the blades is about 40 bolts that come out of the, out of the root end of the blade. And, you know, once you're all done with all that, you have a whole bunch of wet fiberglass sitting in these molds. It needs to be compressed to be able to get some bit of strength, remove air. So, what we have to do is put on a, a vacuum bag material. So once it's all the way through its process, then it's hard, it's solidified. So now you have two hardened blade halves. On one half of the blade, you need to put in a shear web. You install the shear web into one side of the blade with an adhesive resin and clamp that down. You know, quite a bit of glue that goes down uh, all the way around the edge of the entire blade. Close that all together, you get glue squeezing out from the sides, kind of out from the top. Hey, it's probably got a good bond. You strap it all down really good to get the a uniform bond line all the way down. You wait about 10 to 12 hours, and it's totally hard. The glue's dry, everything's done, and you are ready to start it all over again. Coming up next on Business Showcase, we visit with Sue Printing. Sioux Printing is a commercial sheet fed printer here in Sioux Falls, South Dakota. We've been around for over 50 years. We do commercial printing, which is printing for uh, end business customers, primarily ad agencies, design firms, universities, banks, that kind of thing. In this area, probably the size of our operation, we're the largest commercial printer in the state, and we do a lot of, uh, a lot of different kind of projects. We have digital printing capability that we added this year. Uh, that's been a real nice addition for the company and for our are offering to our customers. We have a full binary department, die cutting, a lot of that kind of stuff. But it actually got started back in the 50s right in downtown Sioux Falls in the basement of one of the buildings. It's still down on Phillips Avenue. And Sherman Lewin started actually the what later became the Sioux Falls Shopping News. Sherman had that for many years. His son Dick got involved in the business. During the 70s, Dick then sold the Shopping News off and then just strictly from there concentrated on the commercial business. And then we moved out here about 15 years ago to the industrial park area. So it just continue to grow, grow, grow. Really anything a business needs to run, we do inventory tags, pocket folders, letterheads, business cards, annual reports, monthly magazines, just any basic commercial printing, anything a business would need to run itself. 
We do what's called sheet-fed printing and digital printing. We have presses, certain presses that do certain things. We have one press that completely just does nothing but make envelopes. We have other presses that make, you know, small, medium, large sheets of paper. They print on those. Then the bindery equipment, you know, to fold it, staple it, stitch it, drill it, uh, collate it, all that kind of stuff. And then our digital press that I mentioned, being able to print unique items every time the cylinder turns. Each item coming off can be different. So yeah, very specialized equipment. We print nationally. Uh, we're based in Sioux Falls and we do a lot of our work right here, but even a lot of the companies based in Sioux Falls have us ship that product all over the country. So even projects that we procure right here might ship to California, Arizona, you know, Illinois, Texas, but we also have customers throughout the Midwest and, and even throughout the country. But everything's produced right here in Sioux Falls. Printing really hasn't changed a lot in literally the last 400 years. We're not printing in the traditional press room that much differently than Gutenberg did 400 years ago when he made Bibles. The one thing that has really changed in the last few years is what they call digital printing. And in traditional printing, when you're getting sheets off the press, every sheet is the same. The first, the tenth, the ten thousandth, ten millionth, they're all the same. In digital printing, every sheet that comes out can be different. And that allows us to personalize the message. So when you get something in your mailbox, it doesn't just say resident, or it doesn't just say, hey, come here and have a free dinner. It has your name on it. It has maybe your information. It can have information about previous purchases you've had somewhere. That's a really big change in the printing business, going from every single piece coming off the press being the same to really every single piece being personalized. Thanks for watching Business Showcase. If you're interested in telling your story on our show, call us today at Bowdoin Productions.